Let's keep talking about equal amounts of money in part one of this lesson five. Remember in the last lesson, my sweet machine that takes one rand, two rand and five rand coins. If you insert coins, then sweets come out of the machine. I had a 10 rand note and you had a purse full of coins and I asked you which coins you would exchange for my 10 rand note. We looked at one combination, which was the five and the two and the two and the one. I then asked you at the end of the last lesson to find two other combinations of coins that you could give me that would still equal 10 Rand. Let's see how you did. Another combination would have been to give a five Rand and a two Rand and three one Rand coins. That gives five, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 Rand. So that would be an equal exchange. You would still have 14 Rand in your purse and I would have 10 Rand of coins in my hand. The last possible way you could have given me coins is to give a 5 Rand and then 5 1 Rand coins. An equal exchange indeed. You still have 14 Rand in your purse and I have 10 Rand's worth of coins in my hands to get sweets. Here's another one for you to try. I've changed the coins you have in your purse and there's only one way that you can exchange these coins for the 10 Rand note. See if you can find it. The only way to do this one is to use all the 2 Rands, which gives you 6 Rand, and then 4 of the 1 Rand coins to make it 10 Rand. You still have 11 Rand in your purse and I have 10 Rand's worth of coins in my hand. How about this one? Can you see how much money you have in your purse now? A whole lot of 1 Rand coins, but there are 10 of them. So the only equal exchange would be to give all of those 1 Rands to me in exchange for the one 10 Rand. Another way that we can say this is that one 10 Rand note is equal to 10 1 Rand coins. In other words, I give you the 10 Rand note and you would give me 10 1 Rand coins because they are equal. 